So I'm going to talk a, a good bit about today, about mostly about characteristics of UAPs related to physics. We have the, from the ATIP program, we have the five observables, five plus one really, um, positive lift, sudden and instantaneous acceleration, hypersonic velocity without signatures, transmedium travel, low observability or cloaking, and biological effects. And I'm going to start out by talking about pretty much the first three all in one shot. And Gary mentioned the, the first paper that I wrote on this, I was interested in, in looking at some of these new cases, especially the Nimitz encounter. And I found it fascinating that, um, my graphics isn't quite working here. Um, <clears throat> I found it fascinating that these things were, uh, these tic-tac shaped objects were observed to drop from about 28,000 feet to sea level in 0.78 seconds. That is crazy uh, and, and really anomalous. How anomalous? Um, do the math, do the calculations. This is actually, um, I've criticized other physicists who've said, well, the analysis was rather simple. And my response to this was like, yes, you should have done it. Your students could have done it. And in fact, there was a class in Georgia, a high school class in Georgia, high school physics class that used this paper as an example on how you can um, do um, and make estimates of kinematics. Uh, so if you, if you um, look at this, you can estimate the minimum acceleration, which comes about from the object would have accelerated halfway and then decelerated the other half of the way. That gives you a, a lower bound for the acceleration, which comes out to be around 5,000 Gs, 5,000 times the acceleration of gravity. Um, no, people aren't going to survive this. Most equipment won't survive this. Um, and F-35's wings will rip off at about 13 Gs. So 5,000 Gs is really anomalous. Um, and you can, we estimated the power, and of course to do this you need to know the mass. We don't know the mass. These things were estimated to be about the size of an, of an F-18, and an F-18 is around 10,000 kilograms of mass. We decided let's take a much lower bound, let's take one-tenth of that. So we just assuming that this was maybe one-tenth of the mass of an F-18, you come out to a power that you can't read under there easily of um, 1,100 gigawatts of power. This is more than 10 times the total nuclear power output of the United States. Let that sink in for a minute. 1,000 gigawatts. If you remember the movie Back to the Future, when he's got to power up his car, 1.2 gigawatts! I mean, that was 1.2 and he's all freaking out. This is 1,000. This is one craft. One craft the size of an F-18. How does this happen? We don't know. This is where the anomaly is. So something very strange is going on. And one thing that's almost never mentioned is there's no energy deposition when they stop. This thing drops from 28,000 feet to sea level, um, getting up to about 42,000 miles an hour in the middle and then stops. Where did all that energy go? Well, you know, first you worry about where it came from, but where did it go? Um, energy doesn't just disappear. When this thing comes to a stop, there ought to have been an explosion. And given the amount of power that it took, you can estimate how big that would have been. It should have been an explosion about, with about two, the same amount of energy as 250 um, Tomahawk cruise missiles simultaneously blowing. That's what should have happened. It didn't. What's going on? We don't know. But these are, I treat these all as clues. These are clues to be used to figure out how these things work. 